Today's evening devotional. At the Damascus Gate. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus, and suddenly there shined round about him a light from heaven, and he fell to the earth, and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Acts chapter 9 verses 3 and 4. With the faith and experience of the Galilean disciples who had accompanied with Jesus were united, in the work of the Gospel, the fiery vigor and intellectual power of a rabbi of Jerusalem. A Roman citizen, born in a Gentile city, a Jew, not only by descent but by lifelong training, patriotic devotion, and religious faith, educated in Jerusalem by the most eminent of the rabbis, and instructed in all the laws and traditions of the fathers, Saul of Tarsus shared to the fullest extent the pride and the prejudices of his nation. While still a young man, he became an honored member of the Sanhedrin. He was looked upon as a man of promise, a zealous defender of the ancient faith. In the theological schools of Judea the word of God had been set aside for human speculations, it was robbed of its power by the interpretations and traditions of the rabbis. With their fierce hatred of their Roman oppressors, they cherished the determination to recover by force of arms their national supremacy. The followers of Jesus, whose message of peace was so contrary to their schemes of ambition, they hated and put to death. In this persecution, Saul was one of the most bitter and relentless actors. At the gate of Damascus the vision of the crucified one changed the whole current of his life. The persecutor became a disciple, the teacher a learner. The days of darkness spent in solitude at Damascus were as years in his experience. The Old Testament scriptures stored in his memory were his study, and Christ his teacher. Paul did not think that he made any real sacrifice when he exchanged Phariseeism for the gospel of Jesus Christ. When Paul found that he was in a wrong path, he linked himself, according to divine light, with a people he had thought he must wipe from the earth. He taught Christ and lived Christ, and suffered martyrdom for Christ's sake. 